Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, now say it with me, you got here just in time. That's right, it's Friday. And it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. We're going to call this one on the cutting edge, the cutting edge edition of Friday's Finds. I've got five really cool products that we're going to run through today. And as the name implies, three of them are about cutting stuff. And we're going to kick it off. Ooh, yep, you're so excited. I'm so excited. We're going to kick it off with Zinzu, the Zinzu brand. Oh, this one's sweet. We got to open this up and take a look. You know Yappy, she spends a lot of time cutting vegetables in her kitchen. And here lately, she's been really wanting to upgrade her cutlery. That's a fancy word, cutlery. Zinzu is going to help us with that. What a nice package. How do we get Ah. Look at this. This 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 is going to be like the ultimate wedding gift. Luxury and prof luxury and professional knives is what that says. Damascus steel. Although I'm not sure why it's called Damascus steel when it's made by the Japanese. Care and instructions, how to sharpen it. They have a whole selection of cutlery. Oh, now that's a nice little touch. The certificate, look at this. It's got a certificate of authenticity. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. Th these are heirloom. They make heirloom quality blades. Are y'all ready for this? I'll flip that around so you can see it. Because once I take this in her kitchen, I'll never get to touch it again. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? And I assure you, you don't want to run your finger down that blade. Oh, that is just gorgeous. And she has gratefully volunteered to cut something for us. She's actually really excited about cutting some stuff. That is beautiful. I think that's, that's one of the most beautiful kitchen knives. Now that's that's actually real real wood there. It's a full tang. Wow, that's just that is a work of art right there. Very nicely balanced. But we, we need to get the vegetable chopping expert to tell us her opinion on that. Meanwhile we're going to go to the next item. This is in no particular order, but we're going to go to another set of knives. This is from Sayo, Sayokami? Sayokami. Sayokami. And I'm excited about this one. This is actually another Japanese blade brand. You know why I'm so excited about this one? Oh, look at this. Designed in Japan.
the, the reveal. Oh, look at that presentation. They have a, that way you don't have to worry about your thumb slipping. Wow, look how beautiful that is. And one of the things that's amazing about this, this set of knives, when you set it down on the table, you can see it doesn't touch. Now I gotta go cook some steak. That'll be on the menu for this evening. And we'll, we'll put it to the test. Sokeyami. Sayokami. Sayokami. Oh, that's just so beautiful. So well balanced. As you can see, we have the full tang. I just love that Damascus steel. Oh, that's just, I'm so excited. I'll be eating steak in style tonight. All right, moving right along. Since we're talking, since this is the cutting edge, since this is the cutting edge edition, we need something else to cut with. And this one caught my attention. This is from All One. All One reached out to me and they said, would you be interested in this? And it, and it really caught my eye and I'll show you why. <laughs> I made a rhyme. So we have what we have here. Oh, I didn't let you see me open it. So this is this is the presentation. Came pretty well packed. So it telescopes. This is a actually a line trimmer, but it's not a. It's actually not a line trimmer. It's more of a brush trimmer. I've got some assembly work to do here. It is powered by a 21 volt battery pack. And there are two batteries, a charger, a, sh a, a shroud, a handle. Oh, they even give you safety goggles, safety glasses, a pair of gloves. There's gotta be more in here somewhere. in here. So what caught my eye were the attachments. Instead of being a line trimmer, it's actually a brush trimmer. And if you've been following, if I have another channel over on the RV homestead, you've seen my forest. I got a lot of brush. And that's what that caught my eye. I mean, that right there is a saw blade. So I'm going to assemble this thing, and then we're going to go see how well it cuts the brush. All right. Moving right along. I'll put this together in a moment, and we'll go play with it. I'll let you watch me. Now, the next two items would be on the cutting edge, the next item, the next item would be on the cutting edge simply because it's a cool little product. And this was sent to us by, Yolly, 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 Yolly. Anyway, all of these products can be found on Amazon. And even if I can't pronounce, hold on. It is July 3rd, and it's pretty warm today. Anyway, this item caught my attention because it was just, it was just a cool little thing. Let's take a look. This has lots of potential. Doesn't look like much yet. So we have the base. That's a metal magnet. 
And then we have the light. Now look at how cool this is. I'm going to need to charge it. But the base is magnetic. So you can mount that anywhere. And I'm thinking RV. Uh, yes, I am. So I'm going to put a charge on it. And we'll take it in a dark space and see how, how well it lights things up. All right. One more item. And it, since it's July 3rd and it's been, you know, this is, this is the 4th of July holiday. So, we don't like fireworks. It drives our poor dogs crazy. But we are patriotic. Let's take a look at what's in this box. This was sent to us by Coilink. A very patriotic okay I'm gonna have to you got some get some string there a couple rods now this just this is just for this is for the kid in me it's a kite in case you haven't figured it out oh I like I like that it's like a tent pole tent rod That's right, we're gonna fly a kite. Kinda reminds me of that Mary Poppins song. Or the song from Mary Poppins about flying kites. Of course, if I, don't, if I don't have any wind today, I'm not going to be able to get it in the air. So we'll be lofting this probably this afternoon, once we get some wind. That, that's a pretty, very patriotic today. Okay. So I have the, the whole thing put together. Now, one thing I did learn is... The blade says up. The proper orientation for up is when it's like that. Because if you think of this being up, the blade will be spinning backwards. And it's it's a little, little bit tricky getting your, your wrench in there to, to hold that. It Basically it tightens down like a hand grinder. So, Really, that's what this is. It's just a big, <laughs> a long-handled hand grinder. So, so we, we've got a bit of a breeze blowing, so we're going to see if we can put the kite up in the air. I'm not going to use that windy string thing because I have the Mints Colorful Light Kite String Reel. It's got a guide, it's got a locking handle, so when you get it up in the air, it doesn't spool off. One thing it doesn't have is a, is a brake, so you wouldn't want to use this for like a really big kite, but for the kite we're flying today, it is perfect. This is like 60 pound test line and it even came with that attached so let's go let's go let's go fly a kite the great thing about delta wing kites is you don't have to have a whole lot of wind to get them into the air A little 
little bit of a gusty wind, but she's flying good. Need to get it up a little higher though. So the great thing about using a, a kite reel as opposed to the little hand long things is when you go to reel in it's just so much easier Whoop. I like it. I like it a lot. The darkest room in the house. Watch. That's pretty bright. I like that it, I mean, you just barely touch it and it comes on. That's a cool little light right there. And if you need to take it on the go, or you can just pop it back up. We can mount it pretty well anywhere with that mount. There's three different speed levels. Now, th this, this thing, that ain't no toy. So, right here, you've got a button and it will tell you how much battery you have. And this is where you would change the, the speed. You have to be holding the trigger to change the speed. A and, I'll show you, this is, this is not something you want your kids working with. <laughs> All right, we are focusing on This, this is definitely a, a spinning blade. I really wish it had a uh, an automatic brake when you release the trigger so that you don't have that thing, that carbide tip blade spinning. Uh, <laughs> it works. That's a serious little powerful saw right there. 
That'll be gr great, great for cutting trails down at the homestead. Dust steak. That'd be done right there. The knife, the steak knife. Oh my God, look at that, look at that. Oh, that's, uh, that, 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 that's almost orgasmic. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. That that is just so sweet. What else can I say? That's just like butter. Is that working good? Oh, this is just incredible. Oh yeah, that, that's no, it's not. No, no, that's perfect. No, it's not. That is perfect. No, that's perfect. You never eat that. Oh yes, I do. Mmm. <coughs> Watch how this knife cuts. Mmm. So Miss Yappy's about to start chopping some veggies with the Zinzu, the, the Zinzu blade, this beautiful blade. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's sharp, sharp, sharp. Actually, this. I've learned a little bit. It's a rosewood handle. There are four different lines made by the Zinzu. Uh, this is the Yai, Yai series. So look right there. There we go. There are. 33 layers of stainless steel and then that is wrapped around a core of a single steel it has a hardness 60 plus minus 2 HRC I have no idea what that means let's do it <clears throat> you, you go girl so the handles it, it fits really well I can tell that this has a very high quality of um, steel. And I thought, you know, now this is not something I would just typically do, but because of this type of knife, I'm gonna test it out and see how much power it has. And, yeah, normally, wow, it's going right through it. Normally, I would actually use the microwave before I'd cut this. And it's going, I mean, I'm not hardly having to push it at all. This. This is amazing, as this is a spaghetti squash. I thought, normally I usually could put it in the microwave for one or two minutes just to soften it. That blade went right through with almost no effort. So, so far so good, dude. And I'm assuming it's gonna just go. Get my hands out of the way. Yep, that worked. Let's test the tomato. We had some tomato left over from burgers. From the, let's see how thin we can get it. I might need my glasses. Always keep your fingers out of the way. It, it's, I'm not even, look, God, look, dude. Uh, my goodness. Woo! I'm not even putting pressure. I'm just like slicing. I'm just like letting the knife do the work. That is cool. Oh my goodness, look at that. Ah!
I'll have tomatoes for guacamole here in a minute. Wow, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> this is about as good as I've ever seen a knife get. This is awesome. All right, what's next? Onion, let's do it. I'm not even, I'm just letting it go down. I'm, par I'm hardly putting any pressure. I'm just barely, like, look, two fingers. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It is. In one hand, which obviously that's not, you want to be very careful with your knives. I'm paying attention. I was in food service and did a lot of prep in my past careers. All right, let me see here. I'm going to try something else. Because I need some onion for my salad. Okay, look. Oh, look how thin I can get it. Not, look at that. Look how thin that is. Because it's so sharp, there's no effort. It's just, look how thin that got. Wow, my my goodness. goodness. Yeah, this is amazing. And last but not least, we'll do a couple of carrots just because we're, let's see if I can do them one handed. Do not put this on your counter. It will do ruin the blade and maybe, okay, one hand, I'm hardly pressing it all. Look at those carrots, just chop, chop. All right, this is a win. This is nice, beautiful handle. It's a rosewood handle. It's a rosewood, is that what that is? Mm -hmm. It's full it's tang. Full? It's a full tang, meaning Ooh, yeah. this goes all the way down to here. Mm -hmm. it's, very, it's, it's not heavy, guys. It's heavy enough to do the work, but like I have a smaller hand. For me, sometimes these bigger knives, they're too heavy. This is not that way at all. I mean, look at that, just barely, just, I'm not even putting pressure on it, just boom. This is a win. I'd get one of these all day long. And it's it's designed. And it's designed for, for like this. Look, I'm putting these onions on salad, so we're not ruining. We're gonna be able to use them. That and I'm not even trying. Win win. What else you think, dude? Well, I think that is definitely a winner winner chicken dinner. Yeah, get one of these. Not to mention the fact that it's just so beautiful. And it yeah. It's, this will be with us for a long time. Well, that's, that's heirloom quality. That's something yeah. you pass on to. Yeah, your, your family. Your, your family. Um, that slicing straight through that with no effort, that tells me the quality right there. All right, it's a win. I'd buy a whole nother set of those. And that brings us to the end of the Cutting Edge edition of Friday's Finds. Brief recap. I cannot say how happy and impressed I am with these steak knives. If you like eating steak, you really need some of these. And we, we are raving about that. I'm about to go get a lemon too. <laughs> all kinds of cool stuff on this edition of Friday's Finds. And all of these items are available on Amazon. We'll have a link in the card above in the description below. Thank you so much for following along. If you found some value or entertainment in this video, please give us a thumbs up. Blast us out across your social media. And if you've not already, we would be most honored if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, that's why we get to do what we do. Let's thank you. I did a lime. Look how thin Look it got. Thin that's that amazing. Yep. Holy cow. <laughs> no, I didn't even have to try. Go ahead. That's, that's, uh, that is just cool. For our patrons, if you've already been following along, thank you so very much. And for our patrons, we are most grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?